hello guys so in this video you guys i'm taking you guys along on a road trip from ghana to lagos and from lagos to Porta court so it's going to be a 48 hours trip i'm going to spend a night in lagos then continue my journey the next day so guys please do want to subscribe hit the notification bell if you're new and also share this video tell a friend to tell a friend and let this video go up yes so let me know if you've also traveled from ghana to nigeria by road share your experience with us in the comment section and please do watch the entire video So first off, you know, you need to eat before you travel for a long trip. Like whenever you're traveling, guys, please do take something into your stomach. So this was my breakfast and outfit check. So guys, <laughs> whenever you're traveling for a long trip, <laughs> don't even try to wear something tight because guys, you'd be so uncomfortable because if not for the fact that i was wearing this loose like shorts and top <laughs> wahala for me so this is where we're supposed to wait for the bus to come here's tema um close to the is it Titi brothers i guess so that is our car parked there putting in for some fuel what kind of driver is coming <laughs> <laughs> so finally our oh, back seat huh. don't <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say self. the back seat was not helping because every portal bam you will be affected so this is me trying to fill my forms with the passport so the driver was giving us the instructions to follow so here we go road trip here I come <laughs> guys also knows that we are traveling carry some snacks because you'll be hungry like even though I, I took breakfast but still i was hungry and these snacks really saved me i didn't really take the cook though but like i was saved for a while here is soccer cup where are my airways <laughs> i've been to like soccer cup but like i've not really gone to the township but i've passed through to like other voltarian towns and i must say it's a beautiful place in fact ghana is a beautiful place to stay and i and i motto the freedom and justice <laughs> i bet you we are really enjoying the freedom guys <laughs> We finally got to the border and it's funny the way you can be in Ghana and you don't know Togo like <laughs> it's so funny because moving to Togo is like you walking crossing like a bridge or something you just walk into Togo just like that so I didn't want to recall this military pressing because I didn't know how it was going to feel and I didn't want to create any argument or someone would come and talk to me anyhow. So yes, 
people were trying to sell their stuff and it's cool it's normal we are in ghana <laughs> so we are at the immigration park i should say it's not a park but like you get so there's this lady who wanted to change money and i wanted you guys to see this was 200 cities and i didn't count it naira but it's it's small like i don't know what she goes to you for but and so no so i saw this and it was so nice i didn't really capture it early because i was uh, sitting at the back how will i be see eh how will i see it early so we're going to the immigration office like i think this is actually the immigration office because here was where they were going to stamp on our passport they're going to put the stamps on our passport so we are in the office right now and <laughs> the driver wasn't helping at all like and the person he appointed to go do the things to he was kind of confused so we kind of delayed at the office for a while but all the same we still did it and most like i think one lady was with an id and she made us delay because if you have an id the process is way long so we walking from ghana into togo voila <laughs> so this togo apparently hey like if you don't travel <laughs> it's bad <laughs> i'm a first example like i was like ah so i will togo like did i just leave ghana to togo guys it's a beautiful place and it's shocking the way african countries you can just walk into another country like it's so beautiful you don't have to cross a sea i don't know for other countries but like for from ghana to nigeria you could literally walk in the borders to another country so this is togo and their beach is so nice what and they like chilling hey if you see the bars like the paths and the bars by by the beach you see that hey in coffee i'm more chilling this part really chilling and it's normal it's going to chill you can't be dull in this life once in a while you go out you have fun and come back and i also saw i also noticed that they plant a lot of coconuts in their town and that's that's cool and i like the way they are they've aligned the coconut trees like in line by the beach i don't know if i took that footage i'm not sure but it was so beautiful so so beautiful you can imagine we coming from to go to Beni. the same way i said you can walk to and cross into another country so this is Beni border and we got here and it was surprising that we didn't keep long like we were literally in the car we didn't have to get down we were in the car and everything was processed like i think Beni, their processing is not that difficult like nigeria and ghana ghana and togo their processing is like fast super fast i don't know if it's because it's in between two countries so maybe they think that you'll be properly checked in togo and you'll probably be checked in nigeria as well i think that should be it i'm guessing because we didn't really keep long at all and that was so good because <laughs> if not for that would have really been late on the road <laughs>
capital town for Beni is Port Novo. But I think the Cotonou is because like the city is the largest in Beni. And I didn't talk about Togo. Togo, the capital is Lome. Ghana, you know, it's Accra. Nigeria, <laughs> I think, I don't know if they still stand with the Lagos or with Abuja. It's still confusing. It got to a time they said Abuja was the capital town. But I think it's Lagos now. I guess I'm right. Yes, I'm right. There was so much food. Like, when we were in the car, I was like, hey, won't this driver stop? Because <laughs> I was so hungry at this point. I was starving. I was like, ah, this driver should stop so we can get something to eat. And glory be to God, he stopped. And I had food to eat. So there was fried yam, fried potato, fried plantain. So I was contemplating on what to <laughs> to choose from. And at this point, I was afraid to buy that chicken because I thought that chicken wasn't well cooked or well fried. I don't know, but guys, look at the chicken. It looks orange. They had turkey wings, turkey gizzard. Like, guys, see this chicken. Just look at it. Check it. Would you be able to eat this? I was so afraid. I felt that it wasn't well fried, so it wouldn't be nice. So I went for the brownish turkey wings because <laughs> I trust that one. I know that one will be well fried. A guy approached me and told me to stop filming. And I asked why. He said if the authorities get to see me filming the township, my phone will be seized. And I was like, how? Why? Like, if you are from Beni, how true is that? Because... I don't, I don't see that to be true. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm still marveled that why would you seize my phone because I'm filming? Like, there should be a reason. I don't know though, but all the same, I still stole some footage. So this is the food I got. I got fried yam, turkey wing, turkey tail, and turkey gizzard. I've not tried the turkey wings before. You know, in Ghana here, we normally take the turkey tail so i was used to that and the gizzard was so nice what you know food is life so <laughs> you can't go wrong when when the food is nice and their, their seasoning was so good hey oh no no like the food was so good that's why the yam wasn't that dried but the meat i was chewing the meat for like three days <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. Like when I got to Lagos, and the next I got, I was going to put her court. I was chewing the meat, like because the meat was too much, and I couldn't finish it that very moment. I'm not lying, guys. I'm not telling lies. So as you can see, in Beni too, they normally plant coconut trees. So you can see from the far end that there are lots of coconut trees. I think these guys are really enjoying coconut oil because hey <laughs> and the township is nice like there's no difference in their in the way they look Africans are one people <laughs> I know I now believe it because when I look at people I'm like they don't look different we don't look different at all there's there's no slight difference maybe the structure of their houses is quite different from the way Ghanaians would build their house and the way nigerians would build their house the reason why i filmed this drink was because the drink was like water and sugar with with color this is the township of benin and i must say they have a clean city like clean City, their streets are so clean and neat. Guys, when I was coming back to Ghana, I where I sat was so convenient for me. So I got a footage of their street. I'll do that video separately. Guys, <laughs> I'm not 
I'm not trying to like look look down on other countries, but Benin Street is clean. No two ways about that. And I like the fact that those who ride their motorcycle wear a uniform. I think those who are with the uniform are the public motor riders. They all have one uniform. And that's so nice. So if the person is coming, you know that oh this is a like a working motorcycle, not a private motorcycle. There's a story I heard about Benin Tollwood. I heard that there's a particular place when you pass through, like if you're holding 10 cities, don't even wait for change because they don't give you change. But if you want to take change, like if you want to collect back your change, there's a place you follow. So it's like the place you pay the 10 cities and not take change is like express. So you just go like, I was like, hey, <laughs> Some people are taking to boot seriously, oh. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but oh, like it's it's funny, but it's cool. So if you know you want you want to move fast, you just go there and pay. Then you are off to go. So we are finally at Nigeria border and this is, was where I got angry because the driver at this point was so not serious. He was expecting us to go process everything by ourselves even though he had one person and the person was an old man and the man was also confused. He was going and coming and there was this ABC car that came to meet us there. The driver was smart, took everybody's passport i went to process it and they left us there they came to meet us there they left us there how like i i, I can't i can't like just think for of all those stress i had to take some video you know it's very necessary i also got a sim card because at that point my my strokes were off and they are airtime card too was like paper and that's not good so we're standing at the immigration um, um, office and that was how i was able to take this footage so that should tell you that we still go down and went to the office so at this point there yeah, i thought we were in nigeria <laughs> but i was deceiving myself because they were like we're not yet in nigeria i was like ah but that's the nigerian border they're like yeah but like we've not got it into the township of nigeria like lagos so it took us like some hours to still get to nigeria and what welcomed me in nigeria were small small bulbs you could see a filling station and the bulb at the filling station was small like a bulb that you can put in your house if you put your house they have big balls. I was like, is it that serious? Like, I feel your pain, Nigerians. Like, I now feel your pain. So, like, shops were, were like, their, their lights were off because they were using gen. So, if you close, you just off your gen. But if you are still around, you you on your gen. And, like, guys, I said, feeling station. You see so much more bulbs. So the place, the town wasn't light up. Like, oh, you go to a town in the evening, the whole place was full of lights. No, 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 no. When we were entering Lagos, there was no light. Like, no light. And it's so, it's so heartbreaking and painful because a big country like this and this is happening. Like, I pray to get a good president 
to stand for them and repair the country because I got to Nigeria and I and I realized that they were literally suffering like based on light personally no I feel their pain guys I go into this when I say troll troll because I don't know the name and the chair I was sitting on was a bench it was made of wood I was like ah and they just pull you could feel the foam you can touch the <laughs> you can touch the foam but you're sitting on wood <laughs> guys we're enjoying Ghana <laughs> we're seriously enjoying ask me I was feeling the hardness of the seats I'm going to uh, show you me love oh. <laughs> we're going to a different car but it was smaller than the first one the first one you the, you sit in four but this one you sit in three when I saw the car and they said this three I was like ah where, where will I push to they said I should push I was like hey coming to another person's country is not easy because you have to adjust to everything but I like the fact that when the car is even small guys see, see the car see this car <laughs> they said it's <this> three <laughs> so this is Lagos we got to our destination safe and sound so we got to the wife of the house sells books that's how you see so all the books there guys at that point eh, this point my eyes were hurting i was so tired if you don't have money to to board a plane just be prepared to to be tired like just psych your mind that you'll be tired welcome address <laughs> hey guys i saw the food and i was like what is happening here we couldn't even finish quarter of it so that was i think i found soup and the other one i've forgotten is it Obono? yeah i think it's Obono. I, I guess i'm right but the afan soup was really nice i enjoyed it and it was samolina i've not tried it before so it was weird <laughs> guys good morning it's another beautiful day so at this point it was like six something we're rushing to head to go transport to board the first bus going to port Harcourt. so this is the express road this is the ikeja road because where i went to lagos was ikeja so that was the ikeja road still the ikeja road and we're rushing to get the first bus moving to Porta Court. And hey, Ghana for Moody bro, like Ghanaians are showing us why is that um, boat in Ghana? There's like the regular ones don't own AC for you, but every boat we took in Nigeria, there was AC. <laughs> fuel, fuel, fuel. Guys, if I tell you that I'm feeling Nigeria, they are paying here. Like, like the people in the in the country are really suffering. Like they are really having a hard time. Cause when we're going to Portaco, the driver had to fill his tank, and the line. The the driver was smart. I would say he's a smart driver. Because he used Kataji to get the fuel for us to leave early. The traffic was a different thing to talk about. Like that early morning, the traffic were in traffic like one hour. Lagos traffic. And I was like, hey, what's happening here? People were moving to get fuel. And those getting the fuel, they've blocked the way because the fuel station is packed. So they've packed outside. And they blocked half of the way. So there's literally traffic, but we got out of the traffic and we are heading to Port Harcourt. And guys, Port Harcourt, from Lagos to Port Harcourt, is far than from Ghana to Lagos. When I was told, I was, I was like, ah, how can you be in the same country and uh, uh, moving from one state to the, another is far from moving from one country to the other country. But when I got to Port Harcourt, I was like, okay, I understand. <laughs> I get it. 
and the driver that took us from Lagos to Portacourt was was fast. He drove fast than the person who took us from Ghana to Lagos. So we had to stop by each tree. This is catfish <laughs> with I think that should be fufu. Yes. Or Samolina. I wasn't the one who ate it, so don't blame me if I don't know the exact food that was served. <laughs> it's 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 a nice place. I think every company we with where they stop to eat. Because when we we're coming I took a different transport and it went a different direction. <laughs> we're coming and guys see you accident. The people were still in the car so we we're trying to get them out. I was so scared. And funny enough, there was a pat- there was a patrol team that bypassed. Though. They didn't even stop to check what was happening. Hey, so guys, this is another wa- fuel wahala. We stood in the fuel station for over two hours, if not for the driver who made some little kululu, <laughs> would have still be there. So we left the filling station at last and we are now in delta the moment you see this white and blue cars know that we are in delta state yes so we got to delta and guys to all my nigerian families i'm sorry forgive me for what i'm about to say but you guys drive rough i'm sorry anytime i get into a car when i got to nigeria any car that i take whether boat in the car i, I will pray to like i i alight because the driving is so rough when i drive you think i go to get <laughs> you think they want to crash another car how can a small car be overtaking two trailers the i saw one the car was passing in between two trailers i was like what's happening how can you see death and go and pass in between death like Nigerians don't fear devil. <laughs> ah, so we are in Portacourt. Portacourt is one of the beautiful states in Nigeria, and they're one of the most dangerous people in Nigeria. They are quiet, but they do their things under gym. I've heard a few stories about them when I got there. Like they chased me. They were just me about the town. And they were like, oh, it's a nice place, but <laughs> don't try them. Otherwise, they'll try you. But when I got to Portacourt, the lighting system there was better than Lagos. Finally got to the station. Glory be to God. Guys, we just got to Portacourt and I'm tired. Portacourt is far than from Ghana to Lagos, I swear. Hey, I've been left since morning around 7. And we got here around 7. Is it 58 or not? So, yeah. Just go, I'm so tired. We are waiting for the person to come pick us. So, it's a secret. Don't worry. God, I'll get to tell you guys, okay? It's a secret. I will be, be picked up and get our destination. I get there. I may talk to you guys. Or I may end it today, start a new vlog, okay? Uh, see you guys. Ah, wait till. Oh. Is this the Nigeria job that Nigerians have been boasting of? Oh, please. No. No, no, no. So, guys, I finally got to my destination. And I'll do a room tour for you guys tomorrow. But for now, I'm tired. So this is the end of the video. Me coming from Ghana to Nigeria. 
by road trip don't try it just take your plane and be free don't try it if you don't have the money self and now and there it's much more why do you have the money take your plane so like you you don't go through all this stress but if you don't have the money you are just that's all i can say so see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>